What's up and welcome to Flash Honky. I don't know if I'm yelling right now. I got a new mic. Finally, the GoPro mod came in. And I got a one of them purple mics. I just YouTube what is the best mic for moto vlogging. And quite a few people use some of these. So I'd say, what the hell, I'll order one. It was only like 30, 40 bucks. Give it a try. See how it sounds. Yay! That guy does not look very happy. He's like, man, I gotta be at work right now. All these people in this quiet little neighborhood of all these houses that look identical, that are pretty much all conjoined at the hip together. So I got my jams on now. Got my little dead cat tickling my lips. So I went dove hunting this weekend, and um, it is it was really hard to try to film that and shoot and watch for birds all at the same time and not run out of battery because they just were not flying very thick. And then once they were, oh my god, I'm going to get a nail over here. It's a very long broom. I wonder what he was sweeping with that. Probably concrete stuff. But anyways, so I went dove hunting this weekend. I actually shot more clouds than I did birds. I put a little video up. I'll just realize that that is just something that is not very easy to film because I did not bring my second memory card and I left my little USB charger portable battery thing. Man, it is, it's, it's always windy every time I want to go ride. Do a little wheelie. That sign said, no perfect people allowed. Looks like my wife couldn't go there. <laughs> Hopefully she watches this video. Get some brownie points. So I took care of all the little vibrations that I was having. I had a couple of engine mounts that had come loose even after I put Loctite on them. So now it doesn't sound like it's falling apart anymore. I also zip tied up the old fender here from the little crash with the doggy dog. I only have one mirror now, so I keep looking at this one and I'm like, oh, it's gone. I don't really like the way they look, but I like the functionality of a mirror. Look that, look right. So if I can get to 50 subscribers, I think I'll ride around in this thing. But I gotta get to 50 subscribers. And then if I get to 100 subscribers, I'll do something else silly. But that thing's gonna be really hot. But I'll go to like uh, downtown Corpus or something and cruise around on that. Maybe get a little, couple of reactions from people or something. So far I have 30. I don't know, what else could I do better in my videos? Wheelies? probably do better wheelies I don't like to really go and like do dumb stuff by myself because then if I fall and get hurt I have like the bike fall on top of me and I can't get it off because I'm weak I got noodles for arms <gasps> other motorcycles <laughs> another one everybody around here they ride Harleys pretty much or just like big cruiser bikes I'm like the odd man out. Every time I see somebody, I'm like, hey, can't go as fast as you, but you want to go ride some trails on your Harley? That would be a great video. I have a great idea. Let's go drive through the hood. You always know it's a good hood whenever you, uh, when you're rolling into the hood and there's a police station and a jail right in front of it. I didn't even know we had that. What do we? What do they need that for? Some of the houses over here aren't too bad, but 
few of them are pretty, pretty ghetto. That's a nice one, look. That's the thing about this town, is that you'll see like the trashiest house and right next to it, if it were anywhere else, probably not in this town, but anywhere else, it's like a $250,000 house right next to this $30,000 house, like something like that. And then you'll look over and then they've got a cute little house like this. Uh oh, I think this is a dead end. Ooh. Can't resist a trail. Oh, my shoe fell off. I have my shoes slipped on. Just shut that off. But I cut it right as it fell off. I probably should put those on correctly. There's a lot of little trails like this just all around here. I think this one actually goes back into the dump. I still don't get why people do that. Just dump their crap everywhere. Good little second gear wheelie there. The guy was looking at me like, that's a nice bike. Looks expensive. Ha ha, joke's on you. It's only $1,500. Is he gonna stop? Nope, of course not. It doesn't even notice. Story time. So, one day, when I first got the Hawk, I put a new rear sprocket on it. I don't know, it was probably like six o'clock. I had the stock exhaust on with a little baffle inside of there and everything still, or the flame suppressor, whatever the hell you want to call it. And I was just taking a cruise, did a little lap, just make sure that everything was on correctly. And I get back to my garage. I'm sitting there, I put the bike back up on the, on the little stand. I'm spinning it, making sure everything looks good. And then a cop rolls up, jumps out of his cop car and was like, you riding that dirt bike? And I was like, well, yes. I was like, I am. I was like, but it's not a dirt bike. Well, it is a dirt bike, but it's plated. I said, it's good to go on the road, buddy. And he was like, oh. And plus, I was on private property. All this is private property. It's not owned by the city. The city doesn't maintain it or anything. And this cop decides he's gonna be a dickhead, and he's like, well, I still need to see your license. I'm, mind you, I'm in my garage, and I'm just hanging out in there with my brother-in-law, Tim. Hi, Tim. This cop is like, oh no, you're gonna show it to me, or you're going to jail. And I was like, well, buddy, you can have to take me to jail. Because like, I ain't going to do it. I was like, if I get pulled over on the road, I'm going to be cooperative. But when you come into my garage after I haven't done anything wrong and I'm on my own private property and you're like, hey, give me your license. That's where I kind of draw the line and I'm like, you know, you're overstepping your boundaries and you are infringing on my rights. Even if you did it on the street, but I usually will cooperate because it's easier just to get them out of your hair than it is to sit there and deal with them and they'll make your life hell. And so this guy... Proceeds to call in backup. His buddy gets there. They're like, well, you need to show us your stuff. And I was like, you need to leave my garage. And they're like, we're not going anywhere. We're fixing to take you to jail. Well, long story short, I sat there and argued with them about that I wasn't going to do it. And then they need to get the F out of my garage. And I tried closing the garage door and they were like, don't do that again. And that's why I did it again. And then they left. That was it. Well, they did run all of my plates on every vehicle that I owned. And they didn't have anything on me, so they're just like, if I see you riding this again, I'm taking you to jail. And I'm like, okay, buddy. Whatever you say. 